Hey, what is up, Transformers family? Welcome back to another episode of George Reviews. And today on George Reviews, I'll be customizing my Transformers Generation 1 Chinese knockoff all-white Optimus Prime. And if you follow my channel and you're a subscriber to my channel, the last time you saw this, I did like a mystery box thing where I opened up the box and gave you a couple seconds to guess what was in it. Most people probably couldn't. <laughs> but um, no, a couple of people actually got it. A couple of people knew it was a Chinese knockoff by the tape on the box. And in that review, I talked about why I bought it. I bought this to customize it. Um, love the white trailer. Always wanted. I've been saying I'm going to, was going to do this for years, but now it is going to happen. I'm going to do a, a light customization and a very light kit bash to this figure. Still going to be Optimus Prime. Um, and if you saw the title, there's no need to guess what it is. I'm going to turn this guy into, in my opinion, a proper Pepsi Prime. And... Before I get to that, um, I'm going to start with my Transformers story. You know, I always got a, a toy story for you guys. Scoot this stuff back. Before I move on, I do want to tell you, I added all vintage 1984 Optimus Prime tires to this thing. If you saw my last video on this toy, it bounced up and down a lot when you rolled it. It wouldn't roll smooth. The cab kept turning, and it was just a mess. But now, bashed it a little bit with authentic tires and it rolls great so it's not so much as the tooling to the toy but the quality of the rubber tires on it that makes these KOs roll kind of weird now, anyway now to my transformer story as a kid i never knew there was a pepsi prime i didn't know until i was an adult collector like in 2001 so anyway i had to have it i didn't know what it was i just knew it was a pepsi prime i imagined it to be something very grand a, a complete redeco of optimus prime but then when I finally got one, when I finally found out, and then I got one, it wasn't a redeco. It was just Optimus Prime, and you added this little sticker to the trailer. And mine, it's never been used, and it's, it has faded over time because I didn't store it properly. But this thing was pristine white when I first got it. It was sealed in box. Absolutely no flap crease. I think it's got a hair of a flap crease now. But it had no flap crease. I actually dropped it. <laughs> but um, no flap crease. But I was so interested and intrigued with this toy um i just had to have a pepsi optimus prime then i finally got it and it was cool i got it at an amazing price and i always imagined it to be so much more then a friend of mine was like well you got to get the canadian version i was like so what's the difference so then a couple years later i got the canadian version and the difference is there is a larger sticker covering the whole trailer and i'm like that's more like it that's kind of what i thought um, but I still imagine a little bit more of a deco. And it, it's weird. How how could Hasbro um, make two different versions like this? I understand some regional things, but why would they give you this tiny sticker to put on the trailer and then uh, cover the full trailer with this sticker? This makes more sense to me. But I still always imagine it to be a little bit more grand. And so for years, I kept saying I was going to make my own custom Pepsi Prime um, the way I imagined it when I first heard about it, the thing that popped into my head. And then, what was it, 2004, I heard they were going to reissue the Pepsi Prime to the Transformers toy line. And I imagined them doing something grand, something they should have did. And I heard they modified the trailer. I was like, yes. And then we got this, like... um. This bottle carrying thing. This is the U.S. version, by the way. The artwork on the box is posed different. And the smokestacks are cut off on this toy. I think it says Hasbro. Yeah, this one says Hasbro. The other one says Takar. And the U.S. version, of course, the, the cut smokestacks. And I was like, what? So I was happy to get one. And at the same time, I was like, eh, they still jacked it up. So, so I still was in need of what I imagined to be the perfect um, Pepsi Prime. So one day I was on eBay some years ago and someone was selling custom stickers for Optimus Prime Pepsi version. And so I ordered them from a, a Canadian seller and it came in the mail. And this is what you got, bumper sticker type thing with the border going around it, which you actually have to cut. I didn't know you had to cut them. But I ordered some, a second set, just in case I messed up and I already have these cut. And here we go, ready to apply. And then the trailer door sticker, it's actually, it actually has the border on it, but not on the side. So I cut that. 
And here we go, ready to kit bash this thing. All right, so I'm going to stop and we'll go off camera so I can get these stickers lined up. I don't know how sticky they are, whether or not I can pull them off once they get onto the trailer. And I really don't want to mess it up. Uh, so I'm going to stop rolling, get these stickers on, and come back with my custom Pepsi Prime. All right, I got them all stickered up, and it looks great to me. I, it really does, man. The white trailer makes the sticker just pop. And when I heard about the Pepsi trailer, when I um, found out it was Optimus Prime with a Pepsi trailer, this is pretty much what I imagined because most of the Pepsi trucks, the delivery trucks, have a white trailer. And I imagined the white trailer. And when I first saw this custom, this is exactly what I imagined. I think I'm the first cat to actually post one on YouTube done like this. And once people see this, I'm pretty sure it won't be the last because it looks great. And here is the back sticker. It looks amazing. And But I didn't picture the um, white cab with it. I just assumed it was only a trailer difference. So I'm going to get out... Uh, Standard Optimus Prime. I think this is a reissue. I think this is the car reissue cab on it. And here we go. I don't know. It might actually look better all white. But um, that looks great right there. What do you guys think? This is what I thought came in a Pepsi Prime set when I first heard about it. And my mind, this is instantly what popped in. And I also recognize that um, we got two different Pepsi logos going on. And I actually had bought some bumper stickers with the exact same logo. But I decided to go with like that vintage look on the trailer. Because that's what I want. And I can display it either way. I can either replace the old school. I can go all white. Or I can go with just the Pepsi Deco that's already on this cab. But what I don't like about the cab is the short smokestack. So someone is going to have to sacrifice their smokestacks. So I'm about to kit bash this and I'll be right back again. All right, fam, here we are 20 minutes later. I would have been done sooner, but one of the springs popped. <laughs> Once one of the spring popped in the arm, it's like hell on wheels. But uh, here he is. And I just went in. I put the longer smokestacks from the KO on this guy. Had no problem. The inner mechanism were different. The reissues are different. The KOs are based on the um, bloated Optimus Prime version, the very first release. So the inner mechanism were different, but they still fit up on each other. We're able to get them in. We got the long spokes over here. And then I tried to put the glass. I tried to go with the blue glass in here, but I could not get it out. It's like riveted in. I probably could have worked a little bit harder, but... Um, for now, it's good enough. I may tinker with it some more down the line. But um, for right now and for this review, it's good enough. And this glass, um, I just had to get the sides out to pop it out. And I'm pretty sure I can pop it right back in. Yep, snap right back in. I think this glass, is, this light blue is very cool. So anyway, here is my Pepsi Prime. But I didn't stop here. So we, we got the whole trailer in the cab going on to my dreams and what I thought it really was. So we're going to get this thing open and go one step further. Tails are very hard to open. Damn it, open. I don't know what Ultra Magnus feels. Get this guy open in to further his disguise. Wait, get it open. Let's get Optimus Prime transformed. And I bought this guy. He didn't come with fists, but it was cool because the KO came with two versions of fists. He came with the bloated fists. With these, I don't know which one looks better, the bloated or the smaller ones. The smaller ones just look too much like Ultra Magnus, like they're just Ultra Magnus fists. But the bloated ones, we know the bloated ones never came in white officially. So it kind of makes me feel like I got something different going on. Um, let's get him a gun. And yeah, why not go with the bloated? Go with the bloated gun. And you can't have a Pepsi trailer without Pepsi, right? So, I got Optimus Prime. I got him a case of pop right here. And a second case of pop. Boom. Sort of complete the disguise. When the trailer door is closed and you open it up and he has two cases of pop. So, this is... A full Pepsi commercial. And the funny thing is, I am a Coca-Cola guy. And the people that sell these stickers, 
for the Pepsi trailer. I believe, I believe it's a woman. Not that it matters. But um, they also do Coca-Cola. And they also do the Marlboro Wheeljack, too, in case you were wondering. They do a few other ones, but those are the ones I have dealt with. I, I haven't done Coca-Cola, but I know it's Coca-Cola because I'm a Coca-Cola guy. But um, I bought the little Pepsi bottles. I guess compared to him, these would be two liters. Um, bought these off eBay, a little dollhouse site or whatever. You just punch in scale Pepsi bottles and they come up. They got all different kinds. I would have bought more to fill up this trailer, but I wanted to see how they scale and how they look when I like them. So I just grabbed two. So yeah, this is my custom Pepsi Prime. Tell me what you guys think. And far as the roller, I thought about going with maybe a blue roller with the white tires. Oh, I thought even thought about dyeing this roller red and maybe dyeing his fist red as well to kind of make it pop. I don't know. I still might do that. If I do that, I'll come back and update it. But for now, this is all I got for my Generation 1 Custom Pepsi Prime, a small dream of mine come true. And I always say, no matter what you collect, whether it's Funko Pop, Marvel Legends, Hot Toys, Transformers, G.I. Joe. It does not matter. You are not a collector until you go on to a major convention for whatever it is that you collect and until you've kit bashed or customized your own figure. And with that, I want to thank everybody for watching another episode of George Reviews. The reviews where every toy has a story.